Hello YouTube, it has been way too long. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joel Freeman and you're watching Wholehearted. And thank you very much for joining. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. It's been a long time since I've posted a video. I've taken a few weeks off and I think it's no coincidence that I've been playing a little bit better. Um, you know, YouTube putting these videos up is time consuming and uh, you know, my tournaments and my job as an athlete always takes first priority over YouTube but here I am today I felt like I had a little bit of wiggle room this week and wanted to put some content out there for you guys to bring you guys up to speed on my last few weeks um, I don't remember when exactly I posted my last video but I'll just talk about the last two tournaments um, two weeks ago was the Carolina Clash at Hornets Nest it's an A tier I figured it would kind of function as a little bit of a warm-up for the Pro Tour Final. I knew it was going to minimize my practice time out at Winthrop for USDGC, but I figured it would be time well spent because it would give me a head start on the Pro Tour Finale layout um, and just feeling good going into that event. The Carolina Clash was awesome. I played really well. Um, I threw really well. I managed to be in the lead coming into the final round. So I was the leader through two rounds. Battled my way through that final round and I was playing really well. I made some weird kind of like unexpected mistakes. There were two times when I didn't get up and down from like 120 feet with not really any obstacles in the way. And then I missed a couple circle one putts and then I got two spit outs as well. I'm very grateful to say that through all the drama, I was able to come away with my first win of 2021. Oh, I felt like I was due for one. It felt like it's been a long time coming and it's been, uh, you know, a not so glamorous season for me. So super excited to get that monkey off my back and bust out my first win. It's felt really good the last, I don't know, couple months or so. I've been turning my season around, which has been great. Um, I, you know, I know I've talked a lot about just how the first half has been rough and the first part of the year was, I mean, the first several months, I don't know, we're just not good. I've been just doing my best to learn, to take it all in stride and to, um, just make adjustments and grow through all the all the tough weekends and whatnot and i feel like it's happening uh it's really cool to see a couple of rewarding weekends happen that brings me to this past weekend the usdgc i hope you all got a chance to tune into some of the coverage i don't know all the little details of of why things are the way they are or what all goes into this but I just know that the coverage at USDGC is always a little strange. It's not your typical like next day Jomez. So hopefully you guys have been able to see some coverage or, or will see it soon. One way or another, you might have been following along on UDISC, whatever. Um, first round I played fantastic. Took a big number on the last hole unfortunately. Um, but I was still able to get myself on lead card, which is so cool. I mean, the lead card at USDGC is so epic. That is every disc golfer's dream. That was a blast for me. Um, rounds two and three went okay. They were a little, little bit up and down. Round three, we played in a downpour, um, and I started rough. I was like, I was tanking pretty hard, and then right there, turned it all around, shot, I think, eight under through the last 10 holes of the round, and climbed all the way back to secure myself a spot on chase card again for the final round final round was so epic that was so fun it was me kyle klein ricky waisaki and nate sexton all on a card together and we all were charging our whole card was just cruising gunning for the lead it was super cool everyone was just like vibing playing well hitting gaps making putts super cool uh and really fun I think I managed to work my way into the lead uh, with just like nine or ten holes left or something. And some of you guys may have seen my post on Instagram. I I can't explain what happened after that. I just um, I don't know. I don't know if it was nerves or if I just like got worked up or got distracted or what. Um, but I just started missing putts. I missed four circle one putts in a row which yeah just kind of took me out of the fight uh super weak 
really disappointing back nine. Um, I was eight under through 10, which is awesome, and had an opportunity to shoot a really special round and, and win USDGC by, by a margin, like not even give other players a chance, but things just started feeling funky and I got into a weird, um, I don't know, I fell out of my rhythm and just kind of lost it and had a little bit of a meltdown. So it was a disappointing, you know, kind of frustrating ending to the whole story. Um, but in all honesty, I'm still just stoked to even put myself in that position in the first place. It was so cool just to, just to have come so close. Um, I really did take, come close to taking down the win. Um, and that is just really cool to be able to say. Um, and so I'm stoked with my performance. I ended up in fifth, which is still a huge achievement. I truly just had a blast last weekend. It was so, USDGC is such a special event. It was so much fun. Uh, there were so many fans. It was, everything about it was just, was just a blast. Um, other than just the last nine holes for me were a little sad, but, um, but again, fifth place, amazing and i'm hoping to kind of just build on the momentum and the confidence that um that i've been playing with recently this weekend i will play my last huge event of the season um the disc golf pro tour finale the season's wrapping up and uh hoping to just finish strong as for today i am going to do a little forehand backhand challenge i'm sure many of you guys have tried this if you haven't do it it's a fantastic way to um, kind of even out your strengths and um, develop a more well-rounded and complete game. Um, I'm just going to be playing the back nine of Hornets Nest, which I feel like is the more wooded, more challenging path of the course out, out here. How it's going to work is I'm going to step onto each tee pad. I'm going to throw one forehand and one backhand, play those shots both out, and then just see who wins in the end. I'm guessing that my forehand is out, gonna outdo my backhand uh, in the woods, but you never know. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully I can show you guys some cool lines. And uh, thanks as always for joining. Here we go, let's see what happens. everyone welcome to the back nine of hornet's nest like i said this is kind of probably the more difficult more wooded nine holes as i play these i'm going to throw my first shot each hole um, the way that i normally would so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what my normal shot is then i'll throw the alternative one second forehand versus backhand let's see what happens Off to a good start, but that was a bad kick. Backhand guys up three times in a row. Not a good sign. All right, for two strokes right off the bat. Yeah. Good luck, backhand. All right, this is a little goofy because I would probably throw the same disc forehand or backhand.
also too much turn. Should work okay. Got more flipping you. Dang it. Not quite enough power there. All right, big opportunity for the back end. That was a good one. That was a shank. Maybe the back end has hope after all. Well, with my first upshot, I was playing to the wrong pin. I didn't realize they had moved it since last week. So now I'm in a terrible spot. All right, here's backhand guy to tie things up. Got it in there. Forehand guy for the save. No. Oh. Woo! I almost just aced it. Almost just ace it again. Ooh. Okay, so they were both short of the ace, but still both inside the circle. Wow! I oh, missed rats. that. Oh no! I didn't see what happened. Target malfunction. That's about as good as I could hope to do with the backhand on this hole. So, let's cap it off. For the only backhand birdie I'll ever take on this hole. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, baby. Stay in there. <laughs> an ace run too. All right. Backhand through this gap. It's like my worst nightmare. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. 
Backhand's feeling good. Mmm. That was a good one. That looked nice. Should be able to get up and down from there. Ah, that was almost so good. It's barely off. Kevin Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Still tied up. Anything could happen. A little low and straight. This is so not a forehand hole. Still pretty nice that though. Was, that was really good. <laughs> Go. It's a little bit of a risk reward kind of shot, but I'm out of position, so. Got shut down. Scramble time. Hey, yeah. Go away. Oh, so close. Whoa! Off the rock. All right, forehand guy with a chance for the lead. Uh. All right, got that one in there. Oh my God! What? It rolled all the way over there? Wow. No, that's so bad. That's so much better. Woo. Ah. Okay. Forehand guy with a little bit of a misfortune there. Backhand guy with a good save. I think uh, forehand is one back, which is not good. Because this is a backhand hole for me. You never know though. It ain't over till the last putt ball. too much flip but that's a putt all right I'm gonna need something special from the forehand to give myself a putt on this one There, there's nothing to say about that. <laughs> okay, in a dramatic turn of events, 
forehand guy's inside the circle. Backhand guy has a way longer putt than I expected. So backhand guy's gonna have to clutch this putt up, otherwise we're going to overtime. That barely caught. Forehand. I'm kind of happy actually because I really wanted to show you guys hole nine. Hole nine is such a sweet hole and so that's going to be our playoff hole and hopefully hopefully it's just one hole because I'm hungry. I'm stoked to show you guys this hole. This hole is so cool. Very intimidating, tight, early gap, and then it's a long downhill shape. Um, I'm throwing forehand just to prioritize the gap hit, um, but also trying to play for birdie. So here goes nothing. Oh, oh my goodness. Got a little lucky. And I think I'm inside the circle. They're a little long. So it's 430 downhill. Gotta go with the beat up chariot. Also putting. We'll see what happens on the green. I got that second one just a little bit too high. If I had gotten it a little lower, it would have hit this gap and parked the hole. Instead, it looks like I'm looking about a 40 footer. Maybe 50. All right, backhand guys got about a 50 footer. Forehand guys sitting over there inside the circle at 30. And he makes it. Whew. Like I said, I'm ready for some lunch. So, uh, I don't know. Let's see what forehand guy does. I, I will genuinely give every shot my full effort. Okay, that's all I'm doing for today. Um, I guess I'm pretty evenly favored backhand and forehand, which is really awesome, actually. I, I love being able to say that and, and feel that way, especially in the woods. Um, so I'm happy. I threw some really good backhands today. I impressed myself um, with some of the gaps I hit and whatnot. And then even to just go two for two on hole nine is is crazy so um hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks each and every one of you for joining i'm joel freeman you're watching wholehearted and we'll see you guys next time